Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Mike Matei, and I'm coming at you today with a SGC slash PSA reveal. So I sent a couple of cards into SGC because their their turnaround time is just phenomenal. So this took about a month to come back. And uh, just getting sick and tired of PSA, waiting on your PSAs. Like the PSA cards I have right here, I mailed out it last November 2019. And they're coming in today, May. So I might just start going with uh, SGC because they're, they're a pretty reputable company. They've been around, I think, 22 years. And uh, they don't give... They don't just throw around 10s and 9s. I mean, they're pretty strict as far as grading goes. So, uh, yeah, I'm getting back into the SGCs. The SGC holders are a little bigger than the PSAs. But, uh, yeah, so these are the first four I submitted. And I've got a couple of orders coming in soon, I guess. So, let's just take a look at the first card. First card was a 2020 Topps. Um, Bo Bichette received a 9. Nine mint. Don't know what was the matter with this card. It looked pretty good to me. But, oh, maybe that. Look at that. Look at that corner right there. Focus. Yeah, I didn't notice that corner. I don't think I sent it in like that, but. Oh, well. Received the nine. So, next is, a, I think, a 2019 uh, Trey Young. Yeah, 2018, 2019. Winter and that received a 9.5. So this is nice. Uh, they call these a tuxedo holders or tuxedo cards because the black and the white label, the black and white label makes it look like a tuxedo, I guess. But it's nice. Trey Young 9.5. I'll take it. Obviously, you know, this is a rookie card. I was hoping for a 10. You always hope for a 10, but I'll settle for a 9.5. Next, we have same thing, same year, 1819, Luka Doncic. Let's see what we got here, and it's a 9.5. So, a nice little Luka from playoff, 9.5. Pretty cool. I'll take it. And this next card is a Gary Carter uh, autograph, sticker autograph card. I send this card to PSA, and it was returned back to me. They didn't have it on on file which is ridiculous so i got charged by psa when i send this card in and so i just said let me send, send it to scd i'm sgc and there it is they did grade it they did have it in their database so it graded a 10 auto and an 8.5 on the card so not bad 2013 tops can't record it chasing history auto Gary Carter, Hall of Famer, rest in peace. Loves Gary. He's really put the Mets over the top when he joined the Mets. Great catcher defensively and awesome uh, uh, offensively. Now we'll get to the uh, PSAs. And this is a Peter Alonzo uh, 150 emblem patch card. And this received a 8. So it's a 150th anniversary patch card. And these are hard to grade, man, for whatever reason. These patch cards, relic cards. But uh, I'll take it. It's a Alonzo rookie card. Can't go wrong with that. This next one is uh, John Morant. And it's a uh, green prism and a receiving eight. Don't know what was wrong with this card. It had to be maybe a surface issue because it looks pretty well centered. But... What can you do? I'll take an eight. Next is a uh, John Bellevue Epic Signatures. And I picked this up. This received a mint nine. I picked this up. If you remember, I posted a flea market video where I picked up a, about 15 cards, a 15 card lot. And this was one of the cards that was in there. And I said, man, this looks pretty good. Let me send it to PSA. So uh, John Bellevue was a great, Great Montreal Canadian. He won a couple of Stanley Cups and uh, came back a mint nine. I'll take it. And the next one is this is a uh, YA Tittle 
uh, autograph card, sticker card. It's numbered 8 of 59. YA Tittle, Signatures Gold, 2009 Don Russ Classics. Came back a mint 9. So, I'm working, I'm waiting for, uh, for a Paul Horning card that's sent to be graded. So that I could frame... The pull horn and the wide tittle. I have this little piece right here. I picked this up at a flea market for about two bucks. And as you can see, you have a. It's not that one, this one. Yeah, this is Paul Horning right here. So I have Paul Horning. I sent his card to be authenticated, his autograph. And here's a YA tittle. And this is just an advertisement for Swanson TV dinners. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to frame this up with their autographs like like right here and maybe probably like right here and then the Paul Horning card right here I'll just frame them up and that'll be a nice piece I'm just waiting on my Horning to come back and this is a Lamb Jack rookie card came back a mint 9 obviously I wish it had come back a 10 but I'll take the mint nine. Lamb Jack rookie card. Next card is uh, Zion Williams. Williamson. Silver Prison. Came back a nine. Beautiful card. I didn't see anything wrong with it, but... Okay. It is what it is. And this is a uh, Raphael Devers. Came back a mint nine. 2018 National uh, Tops National Baseball Card Day cards. So that was a cool card, rookie card. Came back a nine. And I have a uh, Patrick Mahomes rookie card. And this came back a nine. 2017 Panini score. Draft day, mint nine. And then I received the, I pulled the uh, parallel card. Red parallel card of his rookie card. Same card. But this one was a 10. Patrick Mahomes. National uh, NFL Draft Red. 2017. Nice card. 10. And this one is a... What is this? This is a Jose Altuve rookie card. I won this on eBay, uh, this was an eBay pickup, and then I, I went through my cards a few days ago, and I found another one, so it's okay. I sent it in to be graded, and it got a 10. 2011 Tops Update, Jose Altuve, Gem Mint 10, sweet card. The value on this card has really dropped ever since the whole cheating scandal, but never know. They could bounce back. Next one is another uh, Rafael De uh, Devers. This was a, a Topps Snapshots, and it received a Gem Mint Tent. Beautiful card. Look at that. Gotta love it. 2018 Topps Archives. Beautiful card. And this is also a Devers card. Rafael Devers. I think this was his Prospect card. Yep. 2017 Bowman Rafael Devers Prospect Chrome Refractor was a Gem Mint Tent. What a beautiful card. Look at that rainbow shine. Love it. Had a real good year last year, too. So, And the last of the PSA cards, the regular cards. Uh, I got this uh, Zion Williamson Silver Prism was a Gem Mint 10. I will take that all day, every day. Obviously, the NBA season has been suspended, but he was having a great year for half a season. So, that is it with my sports cards. And then I'm, I'm collecting this uh, Walking Dead uh, cards. Well, these are Fear the Walking Dead. These came out in 2017. Uh, this is like an 80-card lot. And I'm up to... I've graded 12 cards so far, so... This was a headshot. It's Ruben Blades, the actor. And uh, 2017, Fear the Walking Dead, headshot, wide vision, was a gem mint 10. So, great card. And this is Susan. She was the neighbor. She was 
one of the neighbors in the neighborhood, and she became a zombie. This was the eight, the early stages of her turning into a walker, a zombie. And Susan. It's a Susan Wide Vision 2017 Fear the Walking Dead, and this was a Gem Mint 10. So that's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this quick PSA SGC reveal. Very happy with my SGC grades and the turnaround, and they look absolutely amazing in this tuxedo case holder. The uh, black really makes the card, the black borders really makes the cards pop, man. So I'm very happy to receive my SGC cards. And it was about a month turnaround, which is, PSA is just ridiculous. I mean, how can you run a company and be so backlogged with cards, you know, with orders? Hire more people. Come on, man. Treat your cut. And then when you call them up, they treat you like crap. So their customer service is crap, man. It's just really annoying because grading your cards isn't cheap. And uh, if they're really having such a problem with being backlogged, they should really address the issue. It really ticks me off. I submitted these cards in November, and they're coming. It's May 4th today. Come on, man. But that is it. I'm happy they came back. I'm happy with my grades. I'm happy with my SGC grades. I will be subbing. You will be seeing a lot more videos on SGC. I'm pretty much grading a lot of my stuff with SGC now because the turnaround is fantastic. Very reputable company. And uh, as you can see, the product looks really great in SGC holders. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a like. If this is your first time here, please subscribe. I do uh, PSA, SGC reveals. I do retail rips, hobby rips when I get a chance to get a box. I do TTMs, fan packs, and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, hit that uh, notification link so you can see uh, my stuff when I post it. And uh, leave me a comment. I love hearing what you guys have to say. And I will catch you guys next time. Try to keep this video under 15 minutes and I have succeeded. It's less than 13 minutes. So thank you for tagging along, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I will catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Be careful. And I'll catch you next time. Take care. God bless. Peace.